Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. Today we're going to be using Hitmonchan in the OU tier because it is one of the Pokemon that has fire and ice coverage. And if you have fire and ice coverage in BDSP, you can work in the OU tier. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. And also, if you are new to the channel and enjoy competitive Pokemon, my end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers. And basically, if everybody who watches this video subscribes that wasn't already subscribed, I would hit 300,000 subscribers today. So if you do enjoy the videos and you want to help me, you know, reach that goal and be part of the under 300k club, feel free to subscribe. Shout out to RTSK for the squad. It's going to be on my website, uh, pogame.com. Oh, shoot. No, no, cancel. I, I got to do one thing. We got to do one thing. We got to call him Ippo. That's my homie, man. Big Ippo. We got to call him Ippo. But yeah, so I like Hitmonchan. I'm a really big fan of Hitmonchan. And Ice Punch KO's Glide Score, Fire Punch KO's Scissor. Scissor, what <laughs> scissor? And we have Rapid Spin, which is actually pretty cool because we get the plus one speed boost. So we can actually, like, if Stealth Rock up, we knock out Latios as well. So it can be a mini sweeper. So this would be a really fun Pokemon to use. I'm excited to uh, try it out. We also have Underwear with Fable, Stealth Rock Bronzong, some fun stuff here. Garchomp with the Choice Scarf, Mixed uh, Crawdon to lure the Tangrowth, and then Choice Ban Infernape. So just a very, you know, fun, fast pace team so i guess i'll pause it until we find a battle since we can't find any and we'll be right back all right guys we got a game and pretty cool team for my opponent zero switching to card but there are no switches to that pokemon in the game i don't care what you are there are no switches to that pokemon i am kind of as elf weak though i'm pretty as elf weak uh, i would say um i want to keep card alive because it can deal with a zoomero if it does belly drum i do have underwear clefable as well we definitely want to get a brox here they do have Claydol to be able to get rid of them, but I think Garchomp is a leader choice. Basically, oh, okay, bro, you got it, you got it. Uh, basically, I can Dragon Claw twice the Azelf. Get a nice little crit there as well as they go right for the taunt. Um, do I want to deal with this? How do I want to deal with this? If Azumaro comes in, it's bad for me. I'd rather go Bronzong, even if they get up Stealth Rock there. They do go Azu. Now, I live every one hit. I'm just going to throw off a Hypnosis if I manage to land. Looks like they're the... Uh, they're the Breloom Killer, uh, killer Azu with uh, Sapsiver because that's the only one that runs Scald. So get up Stealth Rock here. I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna beat this. <laughs> I actually do not deal with this very, very well with my team. I'll just Gyro Ball for a little bit of chip. Literally a little bit. Yeah, 11%. Alright, so this is for the anti Breloom tech. We're gonna go for Hypnosis again. I'm assuming they're gonna try and, you know, wake up. If I get burnt, I can basically switch out after. Yo, I am <laughs> two for two. And what I'm gonna do is go Crawdon. Now, the reason I'm going Crawdon is because, I mean, I want it for this guy, but I want to be able to knock off the Azu, and then, ideally, they don't get the first turn wake here. Let's see. They do not. Nice. And then I can hit them with the Sludge Bomb, because my Hitmonchan goes crazy. So, we're going to Sludge Bomb this. This thing stops us. I didn't want to Sludge Bomb twice, just in case they woke up. I can lure them a little bit. They Encore me into Sludge Bomb, which isn't too bad, because who cares if they go Claydol? Like, Claydol isn't the end of the world. Also... I can still save this to Aqua Jet and do things. So we'll make the bronze on play here as they go for Rapid Spin. Now, sometimes Azumarill goes for Rest. Scald, Encore. I don't know if they'd be Whirlpool or anything. I'm going to go for Hypnosis again. Screw it. Let's see if we can go three for three. I don't go three for three, which is really unfortunate. I will go for Stealth Rock as they do go for. Oh, they lost. Okay, cool, cool. Theater 4 ain't bad. I feel like I'm playing VGC, man. So at this point. Azelf might come out. I'm going to make the Crawdon play just in case because I can go for the uh, Aqua Jet there. They literally cannot wake up with this Pokemon. Very good Rotom play. Very good Rotom play. I'm still going to go right back on the Bronzong though. As long as I keep my underwear Clefable healthy, I'm good. That's probably Scarf. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've uh, they brought up the Zard. Now, it should not be able to KO my Garchomp in one hit. At all. Let's see if I get burnt. I do not. Perfect. Uh, a little bit of a threat, I'm not gonna lie. I'll just Dragon Claw, it's a little safe. They can't wake up with Azumarill and every bit of damage on Claydol. Oh my god. This guy's like Scarf Claydol or something. It had to be, I've been like Scarf Claydol or something. So, we get the 2 AKO there, which is awesome. We're gonna make the Bronzong play on what I'm hoping to be an Ice move, though I could get up Rocks for sure if I don't go Bronzong. I think I go hard into Hitmonchan and just click Close Combat. They make a beautiful double out into Charizard here. Definitely a threat. I'll make the Clefable play because I have Thunder Wave and it's free. Yeah, I had a figure, a feeling they go for the mid ground, uh, that attack. With Thunder Wave here as they go for the Flamethrower. Perfect, we managed to land. 
And uh, that should mean I'm fast now, so I can just throw off a wish. Once I get a Brock's Hitmonchan KOs every member on their team. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent did not let my Hitmonchan come out. But to be fair, like I feel like that was like one of those games where if I had Thunder Punch, I would have just went for Rapid Spin immediately and just tried to win with Hitmonchan. Uh, maybe I will put Thunder Punch over Rapid Spin. We'll see. I mean, Rapid Spin is obviously hazard control for the team. The other option, if you guys want to end up using the team, is indeed Mock Punch. You guys want to see something very funny? I can't type in any of these games because for some reason, CTC got, <laughs> got me locked. <laughs> reason Perma locked as Base Lord CTC. So they know it was CTC, it's just that we were all in the same account. It's not the same. It says the same IP, but I'm not obviously not CTC. Right? Or am I? Or maybe I'm Blunder too. Maybe I'm all, everybody. I'm every single Showdown YouTuber. And, you know, we're just, that's just it. We're chilling. So this looks like the team that I use with Blimp, uh, if I am not mistaken. Uh, which means that Hitmonchan definitely goes crazy. I believe this is the Blimp team. I could be wrong, though. Let me check it out real quick. But Hitmonchan goes nice. Basically, when it comes in, uh, it goes absolutely insane versus my opponent. They have uh, very little very little uh, switch-ins to any follow-up move I go for, right? So, uh, this should be... Eh, actually, I'm not entirely sure. Like, this could be a totally different team. It looks almost like a different team. We've definitely used a team like this before. But I'm thinking just getting him on Chan as many times as possible and try and win the game. That's literally what I'm thinking. Get him on Chan, click as many buttons as I can, and then try and win. I don't deal too well with Rotom initially, but I like Bronzong because... I'll live a bandit crunch from I will live a bandit crunch. I'm physically defensive. I'll live this. Uh and I'm gonna go for South Rock. I don't care about the Bro. No, 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 no. I don't care that 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 was like a 12% chance at most. Get the hell out of here. 6.3% chance, guys, to die. Literally a 6.3% chance to die. <laughs> Incredible. So the reason I want to do that is because if I got up rocks, Hitmon Chan killed every member on their team. Amazing. Uh, we're going to Flare Blitz here, expecting them to go Togekiss. That way I can try and win the game with Hitmonchan after. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Garchomp. Actually, no. What am I doing? They uh, All the Heatrans run uh, Flame Body in this. So, yeah, you're not uh, switching. What? You actually ran Flash Fire in this? Oh, my God. In this metagame? That's crazy. All right. That really sucks because I would have gotten up rocks and Togekiss would have been... I basically would have been able to click Close Combat and get a kill every single time. So, that, that really, really hurts. That's 6% chance to kill me. Uh, I'm a poison jab. See if they go hard to Hocus, to be honest. Because obviously Earthquake is very obvious. They could protect. But even then, I still feel the need to make this play. I do very much feel the need to make this play. Especially because I'm, I'm in the back. Yeah. So, nice. My play paid off. Poison. My play paid off. It's fine. You still don't switch into this because you don't know what my set is. Like, you don't necessarily know what my set is. I don't have an Earthquake switch in anymore. But I was willing to do that, and I could slowly get my Bronze on back with Leftovers and Doubles. Get a nice little Poison off on that, which is perfect. Uh, assuming I can bring out Clefable now, that's good damage for Hitmonchan. Everything is looking Hitmonchanable, for sure. Only thing is Breloom is a threat with Mock Punch. But everything is looking hella Hitmonchanable, so I just gotta be careful. I don't mind that either. If they want to go out to Toekiss, I can um, Thunder Wave them. Like, worst case, I can Thunder Wave them. And then go from there. Again, that damage on Rotom is very important. Braylon comes out to Spore me? If they Bullet Seed here, I would not mind. I guess if it's Scarf Garchomp, it makes sense. They kind of just sweep me. But I can also Scarf Garchomp them back, too. You would never be Sash on this build. Just because you have Sand. I'm going to go for Thunder. I'm unaware as well, so it doesn't matter. They are actually, they are most likely Sash Breloom, but I'm unaware, and I've Thunder Waved them. So, they're basically dead here. If they're not Sash, they're dead. I'm really surprised if that is Sash, on, on a Sand team, no less. Like, that's just odd to me, I feel. Now, Bullet Seed cannot knock me out. Uh, and again, hit my, one of the mods with priority, obviously, you know, going down is great. Uh, we're going to try and protect here if we can. Actually, let's just go for Moonblast. If I wake up, it's great. Protect would have been fine too, obviously, but yeah, they only get two hits there. Gonna wish up first. Or attempt to wish up, man. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so I'm guaranteed to wake up this turn, which is nice. They can't knock me out with Mach Punch. They're gonna go for it. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go for wish. I'm gonna be a demon and go for wish here. Yep. Nice. So I managed to get my Clefable back to over half, which is beautiful. Yo, I really want to Thunder Wave this turn so badly, but I'm just gonna go for Moonblast. I feel like they might try and go Toekus. And I want to try and just get the KO. Either way, I get to protect next turn, and I'm well over half now. So I'm still out of range of Garchomp, which is perfect. So that worked out uh, brilliantly for me. Heatran comes out. They can easily go for rocks if they want to. I'm still going to protect. I get a kill whenever Crawdon comes out, so. I think... Uh, that's Scarf Garchomp, right? It has to be Scarf Garchomp. I'm going to Thunder Wave him. Rotom was whatever to me. Uh, it doesn't have pain split, so all I'm doing is slowly but surely getting it in uh, guard. Slowly, slowly but surely getting it in uh, Hitmonchan range, so. Doesn't matter if I get Thunder Wave there. I'm going to wish again because they might expect me to go out to Garchomp. I'm just trying to Thunder Wave Hitmonchan, or excuse me, Heatran. And um, I have to Rapid Spin twice in order to, I think, sweep them straight up. Because my Scarf Garchomp goes crazy too. Like just as good as theirs. In fact, if I win a Speed Tower, we're good too. So I'm going to Wish up here. They can't really kill me with anything, so I'm just going to go for the the Moonblast. The homie's coming out, bro, and he's ready. Dude, I want to go hit on Chancel Bally. <laughs> Screw it, let's do it. I died of Earthquake here, which is really sad. <laughs> Why? If I Moonblasted there, you were screwed. Why did you make this play? Oh, that's so unfortunate. I go Crawdon. If I go Crawdon, I get I get Aqua Jet Chip for Moonblast, and they're more than likely uh, tempted to stay in. I can't believe they went this Pokemon. Okay, they went new. I forgot defensive Rotom's usually faster. Whatever. <laughs> we found out right there. It was not perfect. So they're forced to go Garchomp now. I guess they can go Togekiss and let me Aqua Jet kill them. But I want them to go Garchomp because I need the chip on them so that way I can Moonblast knock them out. That's all I want. Oh, this is amazing. I don't know why they made that play. But they did. All they're doing is dying to Aqua Jet here. And I mean, if they switch out into Garchomp, all they did was take extra damage. I might knock it out with Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet into Mach Punch from Infernape. So I'm not sure why they made this play at all. But their entire team is grounded now. I don't have to worry about that. And all I got to do is bring in Hitman Chan and click Close Combat versus everything now. We take those. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we take that. Alright, so a little bit of chip on you. Just so I can knock you out with Moonblast from Clefable. Literally a little bit of chip, man. Gotta go Clef. Gotta Moonblast. Always gotta Moonblast. I got a special attack drop, which is actually insane because now I can go hard hit Monchan and just click close combat because they can't kill me with anything. Because I, I always live the Mag Storm. So now, like, I mean, I was going to go hit Monchan anyway on this guy because I keep Clefable alive since it can. Ooh, I see you. I see you, buddy. Hmm. I feel like I mock punch win if I do the route I want to do. But that's not as fun. Because I can Earthquake after with mine and just Mach Punch, Mach Punch, Mach Punch. Earthquake for sure knocks me out, right? Like, Gar Scarf Garchomp has to knock me out with Earthquake. 82 to 97.5%. Die. Die! Get hit, Monchan, and now I, live I win the game with Earthquake, Earthquake. Not bad. I really thought it killed from full every single time, so hell yeah. So now we just win the game with Earthquake, Earthquake. Or CCCC is better, right? Whatever, man. Let's just CCC. We CC first because they'll always knock out Heatran. And if they go Tarantar, which I know is banded. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, CC into Earthquake wins the game too, so. We're good. Not bad. Big hit, Monchan, bro. You can protect all you want, dude. I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for whatever Gen 12 ev evolution Heatran has when you're Yu Yu. I'm coming for all of that. Bro, imagine a tier where Heatran is Yu Yu. I, I swear, Heatran isn't. 
I consider Heatran like Gothitelle and, and Dugtrio. Like what it does. I consider it the same type of Pokemon just because all it does is trap you. It traps you and then it, it just makes your Pokemon. It beats Pokemon it shouldn't, right? I've seen Heat. I've seen Blim beat Starmies and, and Specster Latioses and, and Tyranitars and everything. And Toxpex, obviously I've beaten it with Toxpex. Magmasaur Heatran and Slow Bros and Slow Kings. It's insane. This is Heatran's the it beats Landorus if it's on a balloon and goes through Magma Storm and Eruption. Heatran is one of the most broken Pokemon ever made. And, like, not even, like, it's not even broken, actually. Like, it's the most offensive, destructive Pokemon that deserves to be banned. But broken is in, like, it's perfect. It's perfect, man. It's like Age Slash. It's, it's just a perfect Pokemon. Anyway, we'll pause it. We'll be right back with another game. All right, so we got a game, and uh, do not like this team at all. Um, because Bandit Entei goes crazy versus me. Like, absolutely crazy. Uh, but... Still a fan of Hitmonchan, obviously. Big fan of it. I like getting up rocks with Bronzong. This is completely fine. Like, even if they trick me, I don't care. I just want to get up rocks. Uh, I'll force Defogs and basically can uh, click Hypnosis like a couple times. So, obviously, they can bring out Entei if they want to. Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations. You brought out your Entei. Um, I'm going to make the Infernape play because I'll live their one hit. And they should always Sacred Fire because it hurts, it hurts me. Yeah, so... They go for Sacred Fire. I'm going to U-turn. I don't think you ever stay in considering uh, Bandit Close Combat does so much. And this one is so much of a threat to me that it just doesn't make sense to stay in. So, yep. They go Gliscor. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go Hitmonchan. Ice Punch is so obvious. I feel like Ice Punch is so obvious that I want to CC. But I'm still going for Ice Punch because... Oh, I froze him. Let me thaw him real quick. Let me... Let me... You know what? Let me thaw you real quick. I feel like CC KOs, but let me thaw you real quick with this fire punch. I will thaw you right now. Ooh, so they go Latios, which is nice. Uh, they can click Psychic, or they can double out into Entei here. I would double to Entei if I were them, because I have a Bronze on. I'm going to click Close Combat. Ah, they are unfortunately a variation that can beat me 1v1. So, uh, that's fine. Basically, my thought process was I would double there to Entei to get momentum. But either way, I think it's fine. We're going to wish up as they go Scizor. Bring out Infernape here because they can't kill Infernape with anything. As they stay frozen, which is nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to U-turn. Oh, okay, killer. You got me. Literally the exact same thing, by the way. It doesn't matter if they thaw or not. I don't care if rocks come out of this. I, don't, I do not care what happens. I always just wish pass. Bring out Hitmonchan now. I'm going to CC here. As they go Gliscor. Bro, go Entei. Take the Stealth Rock and die. Go Rotom too, bro. All they're doing is chipping their team down for an Outrage Sweep. Which is what I'm going for, by the way. Uh, Hydro Pump into me is a kill. I'd rather them go out into you. Yep, they do Hydro, which is fine. I'm going to go for Hypnosis if possible. As they go Scizor. I always go Hitmonchan again because it's basically a guaranteed kill. My dude has stayed frozen forever, which is hilarious. Oh, not for them. I'm still Fire Punching. I'm never predicting with this Mon. Yup, there you go. Hitmonchan gets its kill, bro. That's Ippo, man. Keeps trying. So that means Rocks are more than likely going to stay up. That's Scarf Rotom. Uh, that Latios is Roost. Outrage, Outrage, Outrage. Goes crazy. I'm assuming you double out into your Entei here. Huh. Let's make the Crawdon play on the Gliscor. Yep. And now we can just Aqua Jet to knock you out. Get that threat out of there. Perfect. Now my CCs are going to go crazy. Brelum comes out as it should. Uh, we're going to use Bronzong as Sleep Fodder. And that should be a free Clefable, which kind of just wins at this point. Because they can't touch me. I guess they can have Leech Seed, but... Oh, they just go for Seed Bomb. Nice. Just going to Wish Up. I'm assuming they go out into either Rotom the Trick or Entei to Sacred Fire. But if Entei Sacred Fires, I'm good. Uh, wish they can't beat me if I go for it every other turn. So, they basically can't kill me with a crit. Just Moonblast again. Awesome. So that's Outrage Range. And it looks like Entei just gets cleaned up now, or soon. We protect here. It's another Sacred Fire. And in order to preserve uh, a Pokemon, I can actually go Infernape. 
and click close combat and pick up a KO because it doesn't matter if they go Latios. Latios isn't a threat. This gives me a KO on that Entei. They literally cannot kill my... Uh, they literally can't kill... Well, Garchomp just clicked Outrage and wins the game. Yep. So I got pretty lucky freezing them and luckily it both thawed them though. Um, I don't know if I said it before, but Hajime no Ippo is my favorite anime. I love Ippo. Awesome dude. Also, one of the greatest mangas out there, too. I hope the anime actually gets continued. If you, if you have no idea, it's boxing. It actually inspired me to do boxing in high school. as well. Boxing. But yeah, I guess I'll pause it, guys, until we find another game. I'll be right back. So we are fighting a devastating matchup. Sun is extremely difficult for me to break. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Bronzong isn't even good here. It's just good for Mammal Swine, which is otherwise really strong versus me. I love Cronon though because I get a strong hit off on this guy. I basically just click knock off turn one, which is what I want, right? Uh, even if I don't KO Torkoal, I want to make sure they're spinners. Oh, they gave me the best Pokemon ever to KO me. Like, that was the Mon that I thought would sweep me. Everything else I feel like I can outrage an Earthquake, but I thought that Venusaur would sweep me straight up. I don't know why they made that play. Obviously, they expected me to go for a water move, but I'm life four. I'm in a good position. Um... I'll just Aqua Jet to get the chip on this guy for Dragon Claw to KO. Yeah, Flamethrower's gonna be able to knock me out. It's solar power boosted after all. Could go in front of it, but in front of it just straight up wins. So we go you and we just click a nice and safe Dragon Claw. Obviously they go Scizor most likely. Yep. However, I should be good versus Scizor. I think I always bring out my um my Infernape here. As they U-turn. Do they even go Charger? They have to go what? Typhlosion? I'm not sure. I just need to weaken them so that way my Hitmonchan can win. Because Hitmonchan can knock out everybody. They bring out Mamoswine. Which is fine because I can bring out Bronzong. And I think I actually go for Gyro Ball. Because if they go hard into their Charizard and its Choice Scarf, I think I knock it out with the Solar Power. Yep. Alright, awesome. That's why I didn't go for Stealth Rock. So we get rid of one of the giant threats. They have another one. It's this Pokemon. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> they have another threat. Confirmed. Um... I keep you alive, and I think I sat Clefable, considering it loses to everything. Eruption's gonna knock me out. Ooh, I can actually stall out a turn of sun, which is nice. Maybe it was better not to stall out sun. I think actually in that regard, I can go Garchomp. I'll make the Hitmonchan play, because I can knock them out Earthquake. Yep, they go Torkoal. This is fine too. I'm going to click, click, click Close Combat here and get as much damage on them as possible. If they click Stealth Rock, I'll wrap it spin the way. I don't care. They yawn me here. I think I Fire Punch just in case they go Scizor. It's just a chip. Like, the chip is all that matters. We bring up Fable on more than likely this Pokemon. Wish up. And that lets me bring out my... Uh, I think that lets me bring out you and just click CC. Because Bandit CC picks up a KO. They have zero switches to Bandit CC. Oh, per per perfect. Like, actually perfect. Everything else just gets Earthquake swept. So, I will gladly take the Scizor from you. Bronzong will literally never lose to Mamoswine in this because it doesn't learn knockoff currently. So, I happen to have the best Mamoswine answer in the game currently. And him on chain got the damage I needed. I should have, I probably should have just close combat again because if I got the close combat damage on the Latios for Scizor, apparently. I was in a good spot. But get to bring out you and click Earthquake. They sack Torkoal there. They should bring out Mamoswine and then double into Typhlosion. I think that's what they're thinking about doing. Or they're going to go Typhlosion thinking that they're Choice Scarf and faster than me and can kill me. We'll see. I'm not sure. Like, this endgame might come down to 50-50. Is there a way to avoid that? Potentially going out into my... No, there is actually no way to avoid that. If they go Typhlosion here, I ought to win, though. Is it by going Infernape? Or is that a throw? I think I go Ape. Because I would crash. I wouldn't Earthquake. Yep. Okay, this is perfect. Because I get a U-turn off. And I break their Sash. Alright, and all, all I gotta do is click Earthquake on Typhlosion coming in. Oh. I guess they prayed at that point. I should go for Earthquake again. 
Because then I can just mock punch, mock punch to win too. Always click Earthquake, never click South Rocker. I get way too much value out of this. And then I win the game with Mock Punch, Mock Punch. Well, Mock Punch after. Just click the Outrage here, my strongest attack. And then they bring out Mammal Swine, they Ice Charm me, and then I just Mock Punch them. Even if they were cut, honestly, close combat's fine too, but like, Mock Punch is just safe. Yeah, I went Infernape just in case they double out into Typhlosion because I can get some chip on them and you turn around, but I don't know. Oh, I can't even type GG. You're locked and can't talk in the chat. Expires in about around 29 days. Insane. <laughs> what the hell did you do, CTC? All right, guys, we'll pause until we find another one. We'll be right back. Guys, we got another one. Now, same person as before. Uh, this time, I am not going to let them KO me turn one with Tyranitar. <laughs> that is for sure not going to happen. So, I'm going to lead off with Infernape just to stop that from happening. Actually, was it Scarf? No, it was Scarf Garchomp. Scarf Garchomp. I'm not, I'm not getting my bronze on KO'd immediately. Fable will always beat that 1v1. Yeah, I'm leading off with Infernape. Perfect. There's a free U-turn. They bring out one of these guys. Honestly, CC is fine too. Or Flare Blitz immediately is fine. into a But I like the... Uh... I should have Flare Blitz there. I'm faster with Crawdon. Confirm. So I'm going for knockoff. Always. Even if it doesn't kill, this is just my best play to get rid of Rotom. Or, or keep it severely weakened, basically. Awesome. Like, legitimately awesome. Oh, and they went for that too, so I actually get, uh, potentially... No, 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 knockoff is always great. I get rid of leftovers, focus sash, everything. So this is great. That's that's amazing. I get rid of Rotom there, basically. It can never pain split. It has no recovery. It can't rest. I'm faster. I think all defensive Rotom should be slightly faster than uh, Cronons, by the way. Like, almost always. Sand shows that they are faster. We can save this as a sack and bring out Bronzong here. We got rid of its leftovers, which is great, especially with Sand. They go for Thunder Wave, which powers up my Gyro Ball. And I'll get up Stealth Rock here. They cannot beat me on If they're Thunder Wave Roost... Really? Is that the play? <laughs> Seriously. Because if I get up Rocks, I basically click Close Combat and get a kill. I can't believe they're doing this, though, to my, to my Bronzong. <laughs> I know they only did it once. I know that was just a sign of like, hey, you know I'm going to do this to you, so don't, don't you dare switch. Come on, man. Ugh, Stealth Rock killed a Pokemon. Um, I don't want Clefable coming out. I wanted to get Stealth Rock up and then sack Crawdon. It's fine. Bring you out. I literally click CC. If they go to Kiss, I kill it after with Ice Punch. I basically get a KO, but I wanted Rocks up. That way I could sack the Crawdon and then have... You know a good turn out of it but i think it doesn't matter if they got the toe kiss i'm pretty sure i knock them out with close combat and ice punch always yeah there's the rotom sack perfect guard chomp might come in it could be brelum too i guess brelum's interesting because sand breaks its sash which is what i want i definitely want rocks up because i want to be able to cc in this game again. Maybe they go Togekiss. I can go Gyro Ball if Togekiss comes out though. Another way of Air Slash Roost Defog. Oh, okay, so I get Bronzong in. They don't predict, which is nice. You get up Stealth Rock here, it's okay if they bring out their Heatran. I want I need rocks up for Braylon Sash, basically. If I can just get anything out of this Bronzong, thank you. Okay, perfect. Hmm. 71. I'm going hard in front of it, dude. Yep. I stand by my play, too. Now we click. Like, screw this, dude. If they want to get up Stealth Rock 2, screw it. Yeah, go ahead and protect against this CC. I wonder if... A to I know it four times resists, but I wonder if it even takes it. Honestly? I think I doubled a hit on Chen here. On Togekiss. And just click Ice Punch. Yep. I think I just click Ice Punch. It's, tech, it's Iron Fist boosted. Basically, the goal is, even if they switch out here, it doesn't matter. Like, what, what did they go out to? Nothing on the resist. Yep. Give me that. Mo okay, so the entire team is Earthquake and Outrageable now. Exactly what we wanted. Like, exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Garchomp comes out. You're going to double to something that could deal with me. I'm going to click Close Combat. I have a Bronzong. 
they click outrage, I just bring, yep, they're gonna double something that deals with Braza, exact, oh my god, yo, Ippo going, Demjiro, get out of here, bro, get out of here, just get rolled up, just get rolled up by Hitmonchan, you love to see it, bro, you love to see it, Breloom comes out, and even got a switch, bro, you can catch this fire punch too, If they mock punch, I get an infernate KO with close combat, so it's fine. Yup, and if they don't do it, Hitmonchan going crazy in this last game, dude. They lost. They just straight up lost. They can't win. They literally cannot win. I just CC here again. Bro, Hitmonchan just got three KOs in a row. You gotta leave. Guys, if you haven't already left a like, and if you have not subscribed, like I said, check if you're already subscribed too. Some people thought they were subscribed to me, and then they ended up not being subscribed, dude. Like, they literally ended up not being subscribed. So, if you are not subscribed to me already, subscribe. It's free. I upload competitive Pokemon content. I love what I do, clearly. And in today's showdown live, we went undefeated with Hitmonchan. Granted, I did freeze that scissor, and that could have been a different game. I know I'm going to get that one comment from that guy that says, Joey's so lucky. That's how he wins games. you damn right. <laughs> damn right it's pokemon play but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe like i said if you are not already subscribed and for those that are not already subscribed if you did subscribe i could hit 300,000 subscribers today for those that watch the video i know it's crazy statistic, but it's true it's true i'm only 19,000 subscribers away from uh from 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 300k these videos get like 30k views around around there so yeah anyway hope y'all enjoyed check out the team it's on my website pokemon.com hit one chan went crazy especially in that last game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.